Good morning to all of those tuning in. This is The Rebel Lemon, and today we're back to playing A New Beginning. So, last time we heard the latter half of Faye's unfinished story of where she infiltrated a climate conference and then ended up putting it under siege basically committing a huge crime by helping a lot of people put a lot of other people under a essentially hostage situation probably so that's a thing <laughs> but anyways we're gonna get into the next chapter so why don't we get right into it You old war horse. Never thought I'd see you around here again. Is that gray in your beard? This is a control visit. I was worried you might steer the station into an iceberg. Good to see you, Barney. Did you tell Duva I was on my way? He wasn't exactly happy. I hope you packed some velvet gloves. Didn't have much time for packing. Sounds like an interesting story. Who's your friend? Oh, right. May I introduce Princess Leia? Huh? What are you talking about? My name is Faye. Lovely! You chose an interesting time for your visit. Duva and I scheduled a presentation for business investors today and tomorrow. What about the National Research Funds? You haven't heard yet? I thought Duva had told you at least that much. The research funds were canceled. What? Bent, that's a disaster! Indeed, it would mean the end of my work. It has all been for nothing. Not necessarily. I have a couple of investors on the hook. Just yesterday, a real star accepted. We must talk to them. First, you must get through the health check. And afterwards... <laughs> wrapping this thing up will be a piece of cake. This will be an exciting day. Trust me. Chapter 5, Atlas, Part 1. Oh, so this is split up into two parts then? I would assume, at least... There, Bent. That's it. I'm done. Fine. Is everything all right, Doc? You could say so. Or someone with your medical record, everything is fine. Retirement agrees with you. Ah. <laughs> My retirement was a nightmare. Was a nightmare? Don't tell me you're working again. If so, I have to advise strongly against it. Let's just say that my life makes sense again, and I owe that to Faye here. Oh, I see. And here I thought you were trying to save the world again. Retirement was the best that could happen to me. I can go fishing as much as I want to. I can read many interesting books. And I have interesting talks with my shrink every week. That sounds much better than working your guts out and spending weeks in the hospital now, doesn't it? You think? <laughs> you know, I actually kind of like the sarcasm in that answer. Let's talk later, or we will be late for the presentation. Right. It's your turn now, Miss Faye. Do you have any illnesses I should know about? That's none of your business. Oh, it's very much my business. The decision on whether or not you will be allowed on the rig is based on my expert opinion. Well, I'll stay here then. I didn't travel 500 years to have myself cut open. Excuse me, I don't think I understand. Faye, you can trust the doc. He knows what he's doing. Hmm. All right. But no hot coals. And no saws. You hear me? Promise. Bent, if you would wait outside, please. This might take a while, I'm afraid. Yes, Bent, just go. I'll catch up with you. I can handle this charlatan by myself. Wow. Faye. Okay, wait. I have to... I have to wonder. What are the medical practices in the future like? Holy shit. Ooh. I'm stealing blood from a doctor. Shouldn't it be the other way around? 
<laughs> you know, I always call the doctors and nurses that come and take your blood vampires. One, it's amusing to me. And two, it's, you know, they're taking your blood. Who else takes your blood? Vampires. Duva painted the upper one a long time ago, but not the lower one. Duva painted, but not the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, what else do we got? Health certificate, ink pad. Totally dry, just like bureaucracy itself. Isn't that just um, a little bit of alcohol? I honestly don't know. The doc already completed it. Only the seal is missing. Ah. Uh, gotcha. The mattress sags, the bed squeaks, and you are miles away from daylight. I can't stand seeing the bed anymore, even after two years have passed. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting interaction. Ah, oh, yes, there it is. Ben Svensson, born... Severe depression, burnout syndrome, etc., etc. We advise against continuation of employment. Hmm. Was it really only just two years ago? Damn. I don't want anyone to know we went through. Everything peachy, Bent? Where's your companion? She'll be a while. That's too bad. The presentation is almost over. Do you have the health certificate? Um... Here, the certificate. Are you happy now? I'll be happy as soon as it is stamped. You are a damned bureaucrat, Barney. Fastidious dry bureaucracy is the only weapon that keeps money for our research flowing. Please, Bent, it's just a stamp. Can't I get in without the certificate? Well, Dr. Svensson, my responsibility is to follow the regulations, not make them. Damnation. What are our chances of finding an investor? They are good, I'd say. We've made an impression. Did you show them around the labs? No. But we had a fantastic brunch with wild salmon from the Atlantic. Hmm. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Overfishing of the seas, endangered species. The problem is just that we can't afford to point fingers today. No one wants to do business with narrow-minded greenies. But we are narrow-minded greenies. Wrong. We are greenies with wild salmon from the Atlantic. We are people you can talk to. Barney, we must not sell our ideals. Don't be naive, Bent. We need the money. Therefore, we have to curry favor with rich and arrogant business people. Everything in me resists this idea. That's the difference between you and me. You want to do research, and I do the dirty work that's getting your research financed. And sometimes there is no room for your do-gooder mentality. Yes, I know, I know. I'll be right back. Fine, but hurry. Oh. Can we use the blood? A drastic measure, but time is short. Uh. <laughs> now I have blood on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, that was dialogue. <laughs> this looks like the work of a typical paper pusher. Morbid, but it worked. Yeah? The doc already signed by... <laughs> And blood. Do you have the health certificate? Here, Barney, that should be all. May I enter now? Okay. Name's on it. Stamp as well. All right. Time for your big comeback. Ha! Huh. Nervous? Should I be? Well, it's been two years since you last saw your son. Oh, nonsense. I'm not nervous. Hmm. Yes? Could you go ahead, please? This little do-gooder needs to visit the restroom first. <laughs> what? I just need to pee. I'm not nervous. Sure, Ben. Sure. Sounds like he's a little nervous. Dr. Svensson, I'm trying to be polite here. What you just told us is ripe with trivial generalizations and esoteric hocus-pocus. We know that our oil reserves will be used up one day. We are aware that we will need to find a way to fill the hole this will rip into the energy supply. We also know that some nuts will be worried about the climate whenever you try offering them workable solutions. What we don't know 
is why on earth we came here. What miraculous technology are you talking about when you claim to be able to solve all this planet's problems in one stroke? Thank you for the cue, Mr. Indez. I am talking about a technology that doesn't produce emissions. One that can be replicated easily and that can be grown in every household. It is effective enough to... Um... Did I understand you correctly? Your miracle plant will grow in every consumer's garden? Um, yes. The magic word is reproduction. A small installation that will fit on every balcony will provide enough energy for the household. It is an autonomous and ecological energy. The process is called nitrogenase. He means hydrogenase. Um... The process is called hydrogenase, which means that cyanobacteria will convert light, air, and water into high-energy oxygen. The degree of efficiency of the energy output yields values around 0.08%. What? That's wrong. It's 0.8%. Do you want to give the lecture, Father? I, um... Maybe we can cut this embarrassing family drama short. The question I ask myself is... What kind of business model do you have in mind? If people grow algae on their balcony like chives, what do we sell them? No one here wants to give away energy for free, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, no. The consumer needs the technology to... <clears throat> to grow the algae and dissipate the hydrogen. Fuel cells for conversion must be bought and maintained. But, um... Well, that's all there is to say on the business aspect of our presentation. I suggest we take a short break. Afterwards, we can jump right in with the calculations. I would like to see this bacteria in action. Or that. After the break, we will present the blue-green algae, and then we will talk about the calculations. We will reconvene at 2 o'clock sharp. Thank you. That was something. And where has Duva disappeared to? The least he could say was hi. Please don't hold it against him. It's all the excitement about the presentation. And then his father appears out of the blue. He is a bit overwhelmed. He shouldn't blame himself. He did well. I am more worried about this Indes. Emilio Indes is a businessman. He needs to ask these kinds of questions. No, my gut tells me that he's planning something. And I won't leave this room before I've found out exactly what it is. I... Um, I would like to say, before we continue, I was talking about types of hydrogen last time, um, in its production method, and I was slightly wrong, so from my research, there's, because I did do research afterwards, um, there's four types or something like that you have gray you have uh, blue and you have turquoise and you have green so it depends like the color depends on both the method of production of hydrogen and the energy that you use to produce the hydrogen so unfortunately Gray, blue, and turquoise all use um, fossil fuels, which do kind of defeat the purpose. Um, and then green energy is the only one that actually uses, you know, green energy, renewable energy to create hydrogen. And it does, and it creates hydrogen through electrolysis, which is essentially shooting. Um, plasma in the form of electricity through a liquid medium, in this case water, to separate the hydrogen and oxygen bonds, and then you separate the two gases, and you then extract and condense the hydrogen into your fuel cells, or into the pipelines, I guess. Um, as far as I know, at least. I don't know much about the process after it's produced. Um, so take that part with a grain of salt. But I did do some research. Um, <laughs> at least in the uh, method of creation and... Um, energy putting into it. Granted... 
that being said, um, you also have to take into account that, and this one kind of confuses me, as there is a type called gray energy, but there's also a type called black and brown. Black and brown are interchangeable, but I wonder if they're also interchangeable with gray. Um, I'm not too sure there, but that is like the only part that has confused me. Hmm, it's stuck. So what do you think about the bacteria? I think it's taking much too long. I want to see something. Please, have a little patience. You will get to see something right after the break. Good. I don't have all day, you know. My wife and I are expected on a whale-watching tour later today, and I don't want to miss that under any circumstance. You will not regret the wait, I promise. We'll see. Ah, you know, these tourists, at least whale watching and other wildlife watching, a lot of that money does fund communities that need it, but a lot of that money also sometimes goes to conservation of these animals. So, you know what, if taking advantage of these witch snobs is essentially showing them around the animals, fuck it it at least saves the animals. Do you like the presentation so far? Oh yes, it's very nice. I particularly liked the helicopter ride. I, um, I was talking about the cyanobacteria. Does the technology convince you? There is supposed to be a live presentation after the break. If that is as good as the trip here, your chances are good. Do you expect a show? Yes. If you can impress us, you will get our money. I don't think we're getting the money. I don't believe it. Why do the loudest fledglings in the world have to live next to this window? As long as they are making all that ruckus, I won't understand a single damned word. I'm not gonna lie, it's... I only see one way to reach it. Do you want to climb on that chair? Yes, why do you ask? Well, I thought you were a gentleman, a man with distinction. Someone I and my husband would have liked to support financially. Even a gentleman has to climb on chairs from time to time. Please, let's not argue. I said my mind. You do what you want with that. Unless I want to scare off our investors, I'd better find another solution. Well, good thing we have the pointer, the bottle opener. I wonder if that can work on the button, but I have my doubts about that. Nudging the stop won't help to unscrew it. Bottle open? I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Oh. On with it. Ha, that fits perfectly. I would have assumed we needed tape, but okay. The Philosopher's Stone, a bottle opener on a pointer. What do you think about the presentation, Mr. Indes? Do you think this blue-green algae is a good investment? <laughs> this cabbage? No way. But I could have told you that before. If you already knew that, why are you here? I came here to dispose of a nuisance. A nuisance as small as an ant, but as persistent as a thorn in my side and as presumptuous as a fat Norwegian who sticks his nose into things that are none of his business. Go on, don't mind me. What nuisance are you talking about? I will tell you in private. <laughs> I wouldn't know how. There must be an easier... Do you like pistachios? There you are. Good. 
not gonna lie, I love pistachios. They Are you thirsty? No? Well, you won't get anything to drink then. I, I honestly really love pistachios. They're just a great snack. Good evening. Can't you see we are having a conversation here? I can. That's why I thought I'd join you. You are not welcome here. Hmm. Looks like we have the same problem. Spare me your comments and get lost! Dick. It needs a lot of power, but is otherwise environmentally friendly. I wouldn't accept anything else. Uh... Is it really environmentally friendly if it requires a lot of energy? Are you worried the algae could destroy the energy market? If a flower power energy everyone could grow on his balcony really existed, then yes, I would be worried. But this cabbage couldn't supply enough energy for a toaster. I'm just worried that these idiots in Oslo might see it differently. And what do you plan to do about it? What every good businessman would do. I'm going to buy it. I will put one specimen on my ship, and I'll dump the rest into the ocean. That's where algae belong, after all. Bon voyage, Dr. Svensson. Arrivederci, Echo Power. And the best thing is, as long as no one else is interested in it, I will get it at a bargain price. <laughs> the pig. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the break is over. If you would be so kind to return to your seats. We will commence live presentation of our technology now. As you can see, our assistants provided some algae specimen. Dr. Svensson, if you would. Of course. He means me. Let me do it. I worked on that technology for 30 years. I know how to get the maximum possible result. Um, well then, proceed. Uh, I think they're marketing the algae in kind of a dumb way. Because you have to remember, these are business people. And you want funding for your research so you can make it more efficient? Well, the thing is, don't mar you're marketing it in a stupid possible way. Instead of marketing it towards... Um, the lamp on the generator only glows lightly. The generator... Oh, actually, that's... The generator transforms the H2 the algae produces into electricity. Instead of put marketing it towards... And this sucks. But instead of marketing it towards... Um, the algae needs light, fresh water, and air for successful hydrogenase. Like privatized use in each home? Advertise it more towards giant facilities. These people can actually produce electricity and hydrogen from, in which they can sell the hydrogen to companies that want to do stuff like hydrogen cars or use hydrogen to make electricity. They can sell that, or they can produce the electricity themselves from the hydrogen and make money from selling the electricity. It's kind of dumb how they're marketing it. The algae needs light, fresh water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's yeah. freshen up the algae a bit. Uh huh. This thing was put here on purpose. The generator gets enough H2 now. Well, the algae has light and fresh water, and the gas can freely flow into the generator. And the light bulb glows. Bravo. Can you really not see the genius in this performance? The only thing I see is slime in a fish tank. Dr. Svensson, since no one else seems interested in it, I would like to buy the slime. Stop. Just a second. I forgot something. The presentation isn't over yet. Well, I can hardly wait. Rechargeable battery. I wouldn't know. Okay, then. I'll put the battery in the net. Now I'm really getting desperate. 
If this works, I will believe every word Faye said. Oh dear. What... what have you done? I, um... I just wanted... Was that the nitrogenase you were talking about? Who would have thought that 0.8% can be that explosive? Dr. Svensson, why did you give an endless monologue on wind energy instead of showing us this right from the start? I don't know. Ask my father. He is the uncrowned expert around here. And, um... Who of you will receive our money? This stupid doctor. I don't want to get some rest, and I'm not sick either. Thank come thieves. Hmm? Hello? Let's go thieves. Attack! Everyone will die! Delvin, what are you talking about? What attack? The Alvin. Crap! Something's wrong with the antenna. I thought Augie wanted to install it on the helicopter. Oh no, I hope he didn't break it. I'd better go check on it. Oh, fuck. Wow, there's room for five Fays. Wait, how small are your beds in the future? It makes sense that you want them to be as small as possible to be efficient, but jeez, still. Unbelievable. Instead of enjoying the sun, they put the desk in the darkest corner. Oh, well, at least they already get used to life in a bunker this way. That's kind of dark. Oh. Oh, this is cool. I'm going to hop back in because there's a few other things I wanted to. Oh, someone wrote me a message. Welcome to the research station Atlas 11, home of the internationally recognized Svensson Henrik cyanobacteria meals as well as coffee and cake are served around the clock in our wonderful cafeteria on the first floor. If you want to make a continental call, please contact our radio operator on the roof. If you need anything else, please contact me, Barney Flint, second floor, sternmost door, just knock. On behalf of the team, Dubé Svensson and Lissa Henricks, I wish you a pleasant stay and many informative hours. Sincerely, Barney Flint, Managing director. How nice. Yeah, kind of. What a pretty material. I wonder what it's made of. Oh. They don't have wood. Oh. Nail polish, mascara, a lipstick. Why do people need a paint box for their face? Ah, this file looks useful. I... Look, some people just like to look pretty. I don't personally like makeup, but I wear it from time to time myself. A transparent shower cubicle. We have more privacy in our bunker. Uh, fair. Na Funny things, but I wouldn't know what to... Wait, what was that? Nail polish, mass... Funny things, but I would... Oh, okay. Ah, oh, not bad. Oh. Oh, we're on a different floor now. No, it doesn't open, and the sign explains why. Due to renovations, 23 is closed down until further notice. No problem. I still have 24. True. Oh, okay. Hmm. There might be something in room 23 we need. Ah, I'm surprised the med kit isn't interactable. What's this? Never seen a microwave oven? Microwave oven? That thing is sending out waves? Ah, uh, yep. Can you use it to radio? Well, I wouldn't put an antenna in there if I were you. The place might explode, and that wouldn't be savory. Yes, you're right. 
What? My. Oh, yes. What do you want? Um, uh, what are you making? What are you making? <laughs> what? Nothing. We have apple pie and rock fisk. Hmm? I'd like to have this rack fisk. Good choice. It's fresh. There you go. I'd like to have some apple pie. Just a second. Bon appetit. If it's too cold, I'll heat it in the microwave oven. Hmm, thanks. The pie is cold. <laughs> no problem. Hand it over. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Here. The pie is still cold. Give. <laughs> da 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 <laughs> I'm assuming the microwave doesn't work. The pie is still cold. No problem. Hand it over. Da 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 da. Da da da. Oh, this is amusing now. Here. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Why is there a sick chef in the kitchen? Isn't that a little product kind of productive? Locked. But I don't want to get back in there anyway. Ah, uh, let's go down this way. I thought I sent you to your cabin. You were supposed to get some rest. I know, but why? Why? You threw up blood during the physical examination. That's why. You are ill, and you need rest immediately. I'm sorry, she threw up blood? That's something more serious than just rest? That's probably a good indication that she needs medical intervention. If she's throwing up blood, that means there's either blood in her lungs or in some part of her airway that would cause her to expel blood and if she's actually throwing up blood that means there's blood in her stomach or in the tombs that lead to the stomach or even there could even be blood in the mouth i guess from like bleeding gums and if she coughs then it would cough forward but, like, that's still probably serious. Holy fuck, this doctor needs to actually get his shit checked out. I'm not sick. I'm healthy as a horse. You are not. You threw up blood, and that's never a good sign. Something is wrong with your internal organs. Before my suspicion is validated, I prescribe bed rest. Or we can assume that I'm perfectly fine. <sighs> oh, okay. Okay, I might change my opinion. If he's having her as bed rest and doing other tests outside of that, like blood tests, and I don't know what else you would do, but as long as he's doing the tests, bed rest is actually probably a good idea. Though she should be on watch, not in a private bedroom. Just in case something happens to make things severe. Do I look ill? No, but you are. Do you really want to break down rather than listen to me now? Break down? Without treatment, you might even die. What? When? I don't know, yet you still appear to be fit. But like I said, appearances can be deceiving. Then I must hold out for a little bit longer. Well, that is true. Appearances don't mean everything. You can look healthy, but then just die because it was a condition and you can look like shit but be healthy it's not likely in that case but you know what I mean. if i really were ill 
What could you do about it? Here? Nothing. You'd have to go to a hospital for a thorough examination. But I don't have time for that. You won't have time for anything anymore if you don't take care of it soon. Hmm. Do you know who you just sounded like? No. Who? You must take care of it immediately, or you won't have a future anymore. You sounded just like me. Then do yourself a favor and listen to yourself this once. I'm afraid I can't do that. Then there's nothing more I can do for you. I have to take care of some very important business. May I? I'm sorry, but that would be irresponsible of me. You are ill. You need rest. But it's my business where I'm going. Not as long as I'm your attending doctor. What's on the other side of the bridge? The rest of the oil rig, the workers area, and the research station. Places where sick people have no business going. Well, I'll leave then. I'm just worried about your health. Hmm. He does have valid concerns, to be fair. Hmm. Excuse me? You may not enter. Why not? The presentation is for investors and oil rig staff only. Why don't you grab a bite to eat at the cafeteria? I will tell Dr. Svensson where to find you. I'd rather look around a bit. Thanks. As you like. Oh, he's nice. Um, I would assume that also leads into the presentation room. It's locked. I don't know what's in here, though. Oh, this is up. Mm, okay, hold on. Before we go into there, I want to see if we can get into room 23. It doesn't seem like it. Okay, that's fine. That's not a problem at all. Door. Chest. I'm sure reception will be great with it. Not gonna lie, the attack has me worried. Hello? Hey, Lou. Hang on in there, okay? Oh, hey ho. What can I do for you? Are you a radio operator? Yep. Wait. You came here with Ben Svensson, didn't you? Yes. Why? Are you related or something? Is he your uncle? Mm, why do you ask? Oh, just, you know. I have to go. See you later. Um, what if we use the cable on the transmitter? I must use the cable to boost the reception of the time radio antenna. If I can do that, my radio will work properly again. I knew it. The cable is much too short. Damn. Actually, let's talk to Augie first. Augie. Ah, just a second. Delvin, this is Faye. Can you hear me? Delvin, what was that about an attack? Attack? Augie, what have you done with the antenna? Um, I put it up, j j just like you told me to. Then why doesn't it work anymore? Maybe it's too weak, or maybe someone is interfering with us. <laughs> but it's really not my fault, honestly. Hmm. What could interfere with the signal? Um, other signals? Some waves? But what kind of waves? Other radio waves, maybe? Space waves? Brain waves? Bran what? Um, telepathy? You don't have that in the future? No? How would I know what kind of waves could be the problem? Oh. Oh, okay. This would be a dumb problem, but I can see it happening. So in the future, if they lack wave interference, then in theory, they might not even account for it. So, quite literally, any kind of wave could be interfering with the antenna. That would be so stupid. What was that about inter- Look for devices that send out waves and um, turn them off. Okay. 
How can I amplify the transmission power? That's easy. You look for a big antenna and tap it. I even have a cable. Do you want it? Oh, yes. Please. Don't expect too much. It's very short and a little loose sometimes, and, um, I'll just leave it here, okay? Thank you. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm reading Gamma Ray vs. Nuke Boy, The Grand Showdown. Do you want to take a peek? It only has pictures. But that's the trick, you see. Text and pictures in perfect symbiosis. It's a total blast. It's called a comic. Oh, we have comics at home, too. We use them to teach the children how to survive in case a nuclear reactor explodes. They develop superpowers and beat up the dead guys? Hmm, not quite. A pity. Hey. That's dystopian, but okay. Effective. Have you seen Bent? I thought he was at the presentation. With you? One of your medicine men kept me, and now they won't let me in. I hope everything is going well. Oh, I'm sure Doc Svensson has everything well in hand. They're probably partying right now and throwing confetti on him. Um, yes. Probably. Oh, dear. Did you put up the time radio antenna all by yourself? Yeah, no biggie. I've wanted to see this baby in action for a while now. I hope I didn't make any mistakes. It went real fast until the cubes... Really, man? Who came up with that crap? Too true. <laughs> the cubes are horrible. Thank you for helping. Um, yeah. No problem. See you later. Yep, yep. Oh, God. I'm now wondering. Even if I soldered the cables, they wouldn't reach all the way to the radio station. Yeah, I get that. The cable is much too... Hmm. Let's check this. Uh, please don't tell me we have to mess with the It's cubes. steady, but the reception is still weak. Okay, let's deal with the cafeteria first. What kind of waves? My within. What do you want? Bye. Mm. I don't think the microwave works, so I don't think that would be the interference. My next best bet would be to talk to this guy again. Yes? Are you transmitting right now? Why do you ask? Could you stop doing that for a moment? You are interfering with my signal. You and Bent, you are colleagues, right? No. Oh, you're not? I just thought, well, because you're traveling together. Would you please answer my question? Sure. What was it again? How did you two meet? Please stop transmitting. You are interfering with my signal. Hey, it was just a harmless question. I have to contact a friend, but your signal interferes with mine. So would you please stop transmitting? I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm talking to Lou from the other oil rig. We have some important things to discuss. For how much longer? Until noon break. When will the noon break begin? It just has. But Lou and I lost track of time, and we still have so much to talk about. I can't just up and leave. Svensson and you. You aren't colleagues, and you aren't related. Oh. Why don't you take your break? Oh, the cafeteria is quite a ways, and I'm too lazy to go there. But no biggie. That way I have more time for my chat with Lou. Why are you asking all these questions about me and Bent? Why? I'm just curious. That ain't a crime now, is it? Not much else going on on this rig, anyway. I brought you something to eat. Oh, really? Rackfisk. Enjoy. Whoa! My favorite! Hey, Lou. Gotta go. Lunch is here. You can tell me later. I'm starving here. Later. Yum. Fantastic. He seems to have forgotten about me. Well, even better. Okay, that... Hmm... Helms, I guess?
one end of the cable is already attached to it. Oh, God. No, no. One end of the cable. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. I'm confused on what to do. Hello? Still no reception. Hmm. It's steady, but the reception is still weak. Okay, so that seemed to have helped. Um. Hmm. Oh, hold on. You know how... The file fits into the pie perfectly. No fucking way. We're gonna blow up the microwave? Oh, please tell me. I can't reach it. But he can. Give! Ta! The microwave actually works. Ta! Ta! Maybe you should stop singing. What do you know about music? Mm. It's not sending anymore. What do you want? Bye. Yeah. Mm, now did that work? I can't believe we blew up the microwave. Holy shit. Not gonna lie, kind of dope though. Oh shit, we have to warn about the attack still. It's steady, but the reception is still weak. Why? Connect? Even if I soldered the cables... Hmm. No. Hmm. I'm assuming we need... Um... I'm assuming we need more than just that. He's having a smoke on the bridge. Oh, fucking hypocrite. You know, those ain't good for you. I kind of, you know, no, fuck it. Seagulls are dicks. What is the point of that? Hmm. Yeah, no point in being there. I'm really sorry, but you're not allowed in there. Ah, man, you can't hate him. He's too nice. Upper rail. Lower rail. A metal ramp, just like the one leading into the dining hall at home. Oh, shit, no way. This can't work, right? I... I don't think this would work in real life. But I'll take it. Um. I must synchronize the radio trans- Ugh. So annoying. But, let's hope that, uh- It has to work now. Attention, attention, radio operator Faye speaking. Delvin, can you hear me? Please, don't desert me now. Please! Please, please! Hello, Faye. Sa? Sadi? What the fuck? There. I, um, am glad our presentation could... 
convince you. I have to admit that the results surprised me a little as well. Then it was a wonderful surprise for all of us. I can assure you, Doctor, that you were utterly convincing. Please, dear. We must not hasten our decision. Not until we've tested the bacteria ourselves. I therefore propose that the doctor will provide us with a sample of his wonderful algae as soon as possible. And if everything is above board, as I'm sure it will be, independent scientists will have no problem reconstructing the result we saw here earlier. And when they do, we will support you. Or is there a problem? Let me through! I must talk to Ben Svensson! It seems the number of your fans increases by the minute, my dear doctor. I have to talk to him. Please! Excuse me. In here, quickly! Calm down. Tell me, how did it go? What? The algae. Are the investors convinced? Ha! They are thrilled. Phew. Good. Yes, one problem less, but now to you. Oh, shit. You are completely out of breath. What happened? I got a call from Delvin. And? The connection was terrible, but I think he wanted to warn us. Someone plans to attack the oil rig. Are you sure? Not completely, but it sounded like that. Did he tell you anything else? Mm, no, that was all. Hmm. Did you get any other messages? Why? From whom? From Salvador? Oh, no, I didn't. I only heard from Delvin. And as I said, it was a short message. Hmm. So I've been thinking, why is my mouse doing that? Um, I wonder if Salvador is the reason the nuclear plant blows up? I don't know, it's something that I was thinking about. I don't want to think so, cause that would kind of be cliche, but it would make sense. How was your physical examination? Tedious. But everything's all right. Don't worry about me, I'm fine. That's good to know. You aren't keeping any secrets from me, are you? No. Why? Oh. Never mind. Must be being close to this Indes guy. I'm seeing conspiracies everywhere. Well, you can never know. <laughs> right. We have another problem, though, I'm afraid. Someone tried to sabotage the presentation. What? Why would somebody do that? I have no idea. But they did everything to prevent the generator from working properly during the presentation. The algae was much weaker than usual. And yet the investors were convinced? Hmm, yes. It wasn't that much of a problem. I just had someone fetch a better specimen. Um, I think you should try and find out more about this attack while I investigate the algae incident. Okay. Sounds sensible. You are really not keeping something from me? Nah. You? No. Well then, see you later. Then go! Sadi, come in, please. Ben says the investors are convinced. You must have been wrong. Oh, no. Hmm. Residential Bay. Welcome back, Bent. Nice show. Really, I hope you didn't raise expectations you can't measure up to. Hello, Duva. I I feel like there's some tension in that relationship, obviously, um, but oh, I think it might be a good place to call it here, so what I will do is save and we're gonna be ending it here um i will say um it's been quite annoying to get into 
the next chapter as I typically either have to save before the chapter ends then replay it and go from there to where we pick up and that's where you see or I have to uh, replay from the last save point which isn't always convenient unfortunately um but yeah so that's kind of annoying but our editor does some magic in the background and we don't really have to worry about that but it's interesting that Faye is keeping something from Ben and I wonder if it has to, something to do with either the attack or I wonder if Indez does something to mess up, mess up the investment because if Faye was forward with Bent then there might be something they can do to mitigate the future because you have to remember the messages they're getting from the future will be on the same timeline. So when you feed back information, it allows you to know what's happening next. And unfortunately, that's not a guarantee as to um, preventing the future from happening or changing the future. Sometimes information is fixed so just because you receive information, that doesn't mean you can change it. Or if you change it, something else will change to correct itself. So for example, let's say when you do a um, presentation, the light bulb doesn't work. Um, but you know that ahead of time from the future cell. So you go in before your presentation and change the light bulb. But, and that should change the future and make the presentation go well. But let's say someone else saw you because you changed it and thought you were trying to actually sabotage the presentation and switched back the uh, broken bulb without realizing it was broken and you were fixing it. Well, now history has corrected itself and you would have never known because all you know is that the bulb was broken. But you never thought to explain to anyone or even do it a little more discreetly. As an example, so just because information can come from the future, that doesn't mean that information can be changed. Um, but time travel's weird. I don't know. Anyways, um, that was actually an enjoyable chapter. I especially liked the presentation bit, actually. Um, but then again, I'm kind of a nerd that's into that kind of stuff. Um, granted, I will say, I don't know everything about it or as much as I'd like to know, but it's still really cool stuff that has real world implications. Though, it is a lot of work and in theory can work, but in all honesty, if we're going to have algae reactors that produce hydrogen um, or some other method of energy production, why wouldn't we just genetically engineer algae or bacteria or whatever we're using to not only do what we need it to, but do it more efficiently? Ah, fuck. I don't know. I don't know these answers, but 
Okay, yeah. A lot, I know, I also know that a lot of people push back on genetic engineering. Which is, I understand why. It's very hard to wrap your head around. And people do have a lot of valid concerns. But as technology um, becomes better and um, techniques become more advanced, we should be able to medicate, mitigate most problems, if not all of them. And, you know, I don't see us having any long-term problems with genetic engineering. Um, my biggest worry with it is maybe the misuse of it from people who are racist um, or for any number of reasons. That's why I'm a big component for genetic engineering, but against cosmetic genetic engineering. I think that shit's stupid to be honest, but it's whatever. Um, just an opinion of a broadcaster in the middle of nowhere who really cares, right? But, anyways, thank you for tuning into the frequency. This is the Rebel Lemon signing off. So, good night and sweet nightmares. <laughs>